everybody is asking for is to have a safer environment to live in and a safer community to live in. And to do that, you can't just lock a prisoner up. You've got to address his offending behaviour and help him successfully reintegrate back into the community. And that's typically what we're doing at, at Ravenhall. Not only will we address their offending behaviour within the fence, but certainly once they release, we will help them to successfully reintegrate back into the community. For Ravenhall, it was very clear to us from day one that we re require the input from the programmatic side of it, from the operational side of it, from the healthcare requirements, as well as the design built so that we've got an environment that's conducive in delivering exactly that what's required. We would arguably state that our partners individually and collectively are the experts and the specialists in the field. John Holland is one of the preeminent construction companies in Victoria, but specifically in prisons. I think the difference in this project is the vision of the project. Uh, we heard um, Peter describe that earlier as a, we're a focus on uh, reducing reoffending, a focus on youth, Indigenous. There are key areas of focus that, that um, the government has really put out and put to the team that they have to address and uh, you need the design to respond to that. That makes it a very, very different project from anything that we've done before. GEO brought the team together. That included financiers, it included architects, it included builders, it included rehabilitation experts, it included academics. The alignment of that team was around that area of focus of rehabilitation. From that, the buildings developed. From that, the architectural space and the aesthetic developed and from that the type of programs that needed to occur in those spaces developed. Mental health issues are significantly overrepresented in the prison population. Part of Ravenhall's requirement is that we've got 75 bed mental health inpatient area and then facilities for approximately 100 mental health outpatients spread throughout the rest of the communities. So the traditional models of treating prisoners with challenging behaviours is really focusing on containment. What Ravenhall is doing differently in the closed supervision unit is marrying those with the same high levels of treatment for optimum prisoner rehabilitation. Historically the lock and key model hasn't worked and we know that there's an evidence base to demonstrate that that's ineffective and so GEO have used that science in developing its programs for Ravenhall. Post release, GEO have a model which includes a continuum of care so the remit of responsibility for the welfare of these individuals doesn't finish at the prison gate. GEO's alliance partners for Ravenhall are The Gathering Place, Melbourne City Mission, Kangan TAFE and the YMCA. That, that's the whole idea is that everyone who has a prisoner contact role will have an orientation towards rehabilitation. That's the custodial staff, as I said it's the canteen lady, it's the office administration staff who are making appointments with offenders. It's everyone in the prison has responsibility for the rehabilitation release prospects of the men. Ravenhall Prison uh, is an exciting opportunity. It's going to bring economic benefits to Brimbank and the Western Melbourne. But there's a far greater benefit to Western Melbourne than the whole of Victoria. And that's the type of approach to prison operation that Ravenhall will, will bring to us. Uh, we will see lower crime rates, better people coming back into the community, and that can only be good for all of Victoria.